go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the jungle and we're up against a Shivana, and she took Dark Harvest, so that makes me think that she's going to go full AP Shivana. Looks like my team's invading here. I really don't want to start my E because it's like terrible for a Fizz jungle. You really want to start your, your uh, W. But if we can get some CC on someone, I might be a little too far out. Oh, we tried to flash backwards. Okay. Looks like our team should get that. Yeah, another auto. Let's see, potentially. Scion's cutting him off. I'm going to throw a ward down right there. Nice. They do end up getting him. And I didn't have to level my W or my E either. I don't get a KP, but who gets the kill there? Akali, that's really good. Nice early first blood. She should be able to get a Dark Seal. And then, actually, she can get a Dark Seal on a pot, too. Long Seal pot, pot too. Or Long Sword pot is good, too. Let's see. Uh, my support's not over here, which kind of sucks because Scion's real strong. Maybe he's going to try and go do cheese the blue, where he dies to the blue but then steals it. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, I'm going to have to pop pots right now. That's I think that's what he's doing. We see Shivana down there at her red, so that is good. I want to hit this with the auto W so I can reset my... Yeah, look, he's doing it. I've heard of this, and I've seen it once or twice myself with enemies. I've never seen anyone on my team do it. If he does do this successfully, he'll be level 2, and he denies the enemy a blue buff. But she looks like she may run right to it. I don't know. She's full clearing, actually. I usually like to take my red buff here because I do take... Um, the, um, the hatchet right here, which is really only good for single targets. But I kind of want to be around that blue buff for when he dies. Or at least in the area, because she may come try to kill me over here. Let's see. Ooh, looks like... He did get the blue buff. And then he can just go bot. Oh, he took teleport too, so he has teleport. He can just go bot. Um, I'm not sure if I can take this this red buff here without my smite up could potentially kite it out until my smite comes up uh no i'm not gonna be able to i might just have to get a reset in here actually i could just wait till my smite is up in, in seven seconds how's leblanc doing she looks like she's brawling Ooh, and it'll still be close i feel like and look, shivana could just come to my red I might have enough for this. Maybe not. No, I'm not. I will die to this. Yeah, so we definitely shouldn't have taken the chickens there. We wasted a lot of time right there, and we don't even have our red buff. And I stalled out the game a lot. I could be ganking or doing anything for my team, but I really messed up there, my pathing. Because I already should have had my red buff and been potentially on one of these scuttles and looking to gank one of the enemies. But, I'm yeah, I messed up my path real bad there. I do have blue buff, so I'm just going to double E so I can try to get to it fast. My only hope is that since I've cleared so... Ooh, she's got a bail. I don't think she wins that. All he's got to do is flash cure, I think. Yeah, my only hope was that she thought, you mean, I would have already cleared it by now. And not coming and, like, taking the risk to try and steal it. All right. But we do have our other component of our jungle item, which is nice. I want to look top. Oh, he actually killed her. Uh, it was relatively close. Does she have TP? She does. I can look to go down there or come help her. No fear. Only thing is, he's level 5. Let's see. If he sticks around, though, we can definitely look to fight him. So I should get level 3 real soon. I'm just flashing because I want to secure it. And there's a bunch of minions here hitting her. So I was afraid if we didn't finish it... It could, uh, he could potentially kill her there with the wave because that was a lot of minions and she was low level too, level four. So I do take or lose my flash there for it, but I think it's worth. I get the kill, and that kind of hooks us up for the, all that downtime we took. And I'm super surprised that the scuttle is still down. Looks like our bot lane is being pressured in, pretty hard. I don't even think I need to smite for this because she's not even going to con come contest. Let's see. I may even be able to double scuttle her. Maybe. I doubt it, but potentially. 
I'm gonna put another point in my W because that's my main source of damage with Fish Jungle. If she didn't take the scuttle, oh wow, this is huge in terms of like us missing all that downtime. Looks like our um, Scion and them get a kill too. Big shout out to Scion. He set this Shivana super far back. She has 19 farm. We could probably take this. If my bot lane comes, I'm going to come help her. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I can't do too much more. She just has to back. If Scion comes up here, we could probably take this drag. That's why I'm pinging for him. I really want to take it off the map because Shivana gets buffs for uh, fighting against dragons. And if she takes a dragon, she gets a buff as well. She gets like permanent uh, MR and mag or armor. Uh, kind of sucks that LeBlanc goes down there. Because we are taking this and trying. I do have smite at 450. I'm just going to weave in my abilities now for the most damage as possible. If we can pick up this dragon, though, uh, I don't think he needs to die for it. <laughs> I'll just smite that and run away here. Even though Scion dies right there, that's actually super worth. I'm just going to tell him thank you, you mean, because he did help us out big time there in taking that. We'll go ahead and clear our wolves because I think they are still level one here. And just hop on here. We got her double scuttle too, which is really good. See, she's got 27 farm. We're at 28. And we got a dragon. So super big. We'll take uh, our Gromp and then maybe into her blue. I want to look to help Akali too. Let's see. Does she win that? I don't think so. The Maiden is so strong. Yort's really strong right now too. Yeah, he gets her. Picks her up. A little unfortunate, but that's a really tough matchup. See, LeBlanc looks like she's trying to roam up there to help. If she could get that that'd be pretty big i don't want to get my blue here just yet because i'm gonna just back i want to spend all this gold and then i'll uh reset get my blue and then maybe look for a gang bot to help them out all right so let's go ahead and grab our jungle item grab a pair of boots and then start building into our upgraded jungle item we'll grab a control ward and a sweeper on our way out as well want to look to pressure this yasuo in some too um let's see they almost get the ezreal I'm de I'm de I may just even run straight down there because I'm sure... Oh, nice. Our Scion gets him. The Scion's playing really, really, really good. He's already influenced the game so much. Just from level one with that blue steel. See, I want to drag this into the bush so if like someone hops over, they see it's gone and don't try to like fight me or something. Nice. She gets a hawk shot in, so we know no one's coming. I have two uh, charges of smite, so I'm probably just going to smite this for the health and then look to get a scuttle here. Just gonna use my E to corral it over to this area. I have my smite in four, so if she does come to contest it or anyone does, I can just um, smite it. But I don't want to use my smite if I don't have to. Ooh, dang. York snowball in there. Let me see if I can't come over here and make a play. Yasuo is low. I'm not level six, though. See, her chickens are up. I'm not sure where she is. All right, she's got a ward right here, control ward. I'll just take this out. Maybe even doing that will force Yasuo's back right there. J4 right here. Not sure what he's doing. See, I'm just going to get a reset in, actually. Actually, if this dude walks up to me, I'm just going to uh, blue smite him and just hit him with autos here. I have uh, Dark Harvest and Red buff, so I'm just walking this guy down. QW through him, hit him with another auto. Then I'm going to fish this guy. Ooh, if he kept walking, he would have been fished. We just need a bail here. We get the kill on him. I'm going to farm up a little bit and then look to help Akali. Just use my E for damage because I have a blue buff. So, um, I would look for that, but I'm, I don't have a red buff. She's actually pretty far in her, her jungle too. So, we'd be extending really far to do that. Actually, my... Wolves are already up. He's still going for it. He's, I mean, he's distracting them and messing with them and taking up a lot of their time. This Scion is playing really, really good. I'm going to look to smite this just because I'm going to back right after this. I have a lot of gold. I think I can complete my jungle item. And then I can get a reset, get red, and then look to help Akali. Nice. We can get our uh, jungle item here, grab a control ward. 
See our bot lane's going in. Oh, the arrow goes wide. If they hit the arrow there, that guy was dead for sure. The J4. Ooh, this dude's so strong. I need my red buff. Mainly because the damage, the extra damage in the slow, but also I'll get level six or uh, my ult will be up off of it too after I take it. Pop a pot. Looks like he's coming to actually invade me. Maybe he is. Let's see. All right, we're Gucci though. We got it. Um, let's see where he goes. I'm gonna come and look for a fight on him for sure, especially if he stays in the lane. I'm gonna pop pots and just go in on him here. Um, his nice. We might even get her too. Putting another point in my Q just because I want to Q on her and get a bunch of damage. I would usually go E, but right there in the heat of the moment, I wanted. I'm gonna smite him. Now I'm looking to Q to him. I gotta just play this out. I gotta E that and he dies here. Just wanna flash. Q on to him. Auto. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Sweet. So we went up there, helped the Akali, because she she has been soaking up a lot of pressure from this Yorick. And then, yeah, the enemies are trickle in one by one. We are fortunate enough to get some good outplays there. Get some good plating here, too. I'm going to Q through this wave. I just want to damage it up for her. Hit it with an auto W and let her just clear the wave here. Sweet. She's doing really well. You mean in the lane. Pretty even in CS. And Yorick's, like I said, he's a beast of a champion right now. Very strong. All right, so we're not doing too bad here in the matchup. Let's see. We'll go ahead and grab our tier two boots, and then I'm gonna build, start building into my Lich Bane. I'm gonna go that second item. I want to come grab this. I should have bought a control ward. That was my bad. I misplayed right there. I had the goal to buy a control ward. Yeah, she's taking it. I figured she would be. Like I said, she tears through dragons. That's why I wanted that early one. And I want to contest the future ones as well. She just we made a big play up top, and she uh, punishes us for being up top. So it's a good play by her. She did take my blue buff too. Very well played by her. See, I'm using my sweeper because I might look for a gank here bot lane. I have my R. See, and this guy might already be too far gone. If he hops away, I'll kill him. Nice, they get him. And we'll just push this wave with him here and soak up plates. I have my R, so if anyone does come, we can uh, chunk him here. I'm not going to W though because I want to save my mana. I'm gonna go for her as soon as I see her. Smiter, Q auto W her. Oh, I hop on my, uh, I can't get any damage on this guy. I'm gonna Q him, hit him with the auto. Another auto. Oh, another one, am I safe? The heal from the ash saves me. Nice. Then we can just proxy this wave. There's Yasuo, it could be coming, but. Oh, the dodge for Azrael. I gotta play safe for my, uh, for my E here. I need to wait for my E to come up. I do anything nice yeah is not coming so we can just pressure this in. i'm gonna get another play for sure we have a big wave here actually i'm just gonna double e away from this guy he hits him with a knock up and disengages completely such a good knock up dude this scion player is a monster i can't really help him though because i don't have my e if he survives i don't think he's gonna survive though the ignite oh pog Dude, this guy, this Scion player is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Even if we lose this game, I think I may post this because this Scion is just, his tactics and just his gameplay is insane too. Very good. And they're doing well in the bot lane. I kind of just have to seed this. I don't think that was smart by her because he's going to take that tower and he has the maiden up. I think LeBlanc needs to roam and try and help him. And I try to influence the bot of the map here. Cause I don't, I'm, I'm running Dark Harvest this game, so I don't have like super consistent damage. You know what I mean to fight that guy, and that's what York's all about is like just staying in the fight super long. You know what I mean? And since we're in the jungle, we don't have an ignite. Looks like they kill him anyways. Um, I want to try and make a. Okay, they do have a pink ward here. That's a good placement right there with the ocean map. I'm gonna look to come make a play with my team here. Throw a control ward down right here. Pretty sure we just kill this guy. They may kill him before I even get here. If not, I'll just fish him. I got him fish. I want to kill him before he does. Uh, 
Kills our Ash here. I'll E that and let her clear that wave. Sweet. So we're doing really, really good here. We're playing off of our strong side. And even our Akali's doing really well in the matchup, even though York's kind of a bully. Um, we can potentially do something here if we catch someone slipping. Like Roman or something. Yasuo is Roman. I want to let him lead the way. Okay, nice. I'm going to follow him in now. We may be able to go up there and fight him. I don't have my ult. Which is a little sketchy. But he's not super strong. And all he has is Zerka Greaves and a uh, Zeal. He does have his Wim Wall here. Just going to QW to him. Hit him with a little bit of damage. We don't have to commit here. Because if he gets hit by the knockup, we might be toast. We don't have to commit here. That's fine. I got my red buff up. So I'm just going to go take my red. And then I may look to make a play around my team somewhere. I do have enough for Lich Bane, which kind of makes me want to back, but I haven't been on the field very long. And I think I can make plays with the red buff. Let's see. Let's see what this dude does. I don't I don't I don't want to sweep right here. Cause I don't want to waste my sweeper, but I'm gonna sweep through here. He doesn't have a vision here, but their whole team's kind of right here, too. Oh, I got him. I can't believe I actually got him with that. Just going to fish, ignite him, and then QW him. I, we got to take him out mercilessly, super fast with extreme precision. So that's why I flashed there, QW'd him. After I saw the fish landed and he flashed, I knew that I could follow up max distance, you know what I mean? So that's what I wanted to do. Actually, what I want to do is take this Herald. Since they got pressure here, she's got pressure there. Yasuo will probably... I want to contest that dragon because the dragon is up in 15. And like I said, Shivana's probably going to prioritize it. But this Herald just right now, the timing of it seems super good. Just because where we have pressure on the map right now. Or else I would be attempting to rush that dragon. They may get it because our bot lane looks like they do go down there. At least our support anyways. I don't want to smite this because I may be able to just go contest the dragon. I'm going to leave that for her and then try to come... Maybe get a steal on the dragon. I don't have alt for 20. And she does dragon super fast. But I think if we catch her, we can kill her. Because it doesn't look like her team's here. Nice. We just got to target her straight up. I'm just going to... Yes, nice. I'm just going for the dragon at this point. We get the kill on... Nice, nice. She... Oh, he altered the clone. There it is, guys. Fish jungle. Forcing them to surrender. All right, we'll take you to the after action after this. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played as Fizz in the jungle versus the Shivana in the jungle. So starting from my top laner, our Kali was Diamond 4. I'm sitting at Platinum 4. Our mid laner was Gold 2, level 113 Ash, and a Gold 1 Scion. And, hey, man, big shout out to this Scion. This dude, I mean, he completely influenced the whole scheme of the game by invading that blue, taking her blue. That denied her... Early levels, obviously, and a blue buff, which is pretty, you mean, nice because it gives cooldown reduction. doesn't offer anything in terms of mana, but, you mean, it's still nice to have your buffs. And he took that, was level 2, teleported back down, and instantly started applying pressure with his uh, ADC. And, you mean, just throughout the course of the game, too, all the knockups, the kiting he was doing, I mean, he just played insanely well. So, yeah, shout out to this guy, Fireblades. So, starting from the enemy mid laner, this was their mid laner. I think Yasuo, yeah. So, the Yasuo was gold 2. The Shivana we were going up against was gold four. The York, who was, he was doing really well. I mean, he pumped out the most damage in the game. And yeah, like I say, York is just absolutely super, super strong right now with Conquer. And it shows, I mean, he did 11, almost 11k damage. He was platinum four. Ezreal, who is a, looks like an Ezreal main. His name is Buff Ezreal. He was a platinum four as well. And then a platinum two support in the J4. And that's kind of a weird support, but I've been seeing this recently. J4 support. So, yeah, guys, that's Fizz in the jungle. Like I always say, it, it's pretty rough. You're early, you're early clear, and that one in specifically. We did the chickens. That's confirmed. Never do those chickens. Definitely do your red buff first, and then mainly look to scuttle. You can get level three off of the scuttle after your red. So I messed that up, but then we ended up, I think, getting a kill and transitioning it into some, like, pressure through that. Double scuttled her and was, like, super far ahead. And, yeah, we played through our team really well. But, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. Really does help, and we enjoy to have you here. And if you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.